Sorry about my hair sticking up. I've been wearing this stupid uh, elf hat all day. And I guess it's finally to start having its stupid effects on my hair. I'm not going to... Ugh. That is terrible. Here, I'm just going to put on the hat for the rest of the video. You know what? It's Christmas time anyways. I look like shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I look similar to the character in this movie, which is to say I look like shit and he looks like shit. For different reasons, but jeez. Alright. Um, today we're talking about The Whale. And The Whale is an interesting movie uh, because I've heard nothing but phenomenal things. And I, lots of people also have heard nothing but phenomenal things. My theater that I work at uh, is the only theater in town showing the movie. And when they open up showtimes for this movie, it almost completely sold out, this theater. Which is interesting because this is an A24 movie. And I'm not saying A24 movies aren't successful, but they do not fill up like that. You don't get a full theater full of people with A24 movies. You might get at least, like, a decent amount of them kind of mixed all over the place. Like, some in the back, some in the middle rows, some towards the front. You know, that type of thing. You're not going to get, like, a packed theater like that. But, no, this one was packed. And I think it's because Brendan Fraser, people really want to see his comeback. Uh, this movie's had great press around it. And David Aronofsky is an incredible director. A, a Black Swan, Requiem for a Dream, or Need I Go On. You know, I mean, he's had other great movies that are besides those two, but, like, those are just enough to show you how talented of a director and incredible as a uh, talent he is when it comes to filmmaking. And this movie remains no different. Um, my thought about this movie was it was going to be Requiem for a Dream, but instead of it being about drugs, it's about food. And it's not that. Um, and what I mean by that is there's a lot of tragedy in Requiem for a Dream of how what causes someone to get that kind of addicted to drugs and things like that. This doesn't really focus on too much on why this person gets addicted to food. It just is about sadness and how being honest with ourselves is the only way we can truly be happy. There is a lot to break down about the themes of this movie, and I don't fully understand or grasp any of it ju through just one viewing. This is a movie that, throughout the entire film, you know the outcome of the movie, but you are still completely engaged and immersed in this story that is a tragedy, but it's also not a tragedy. There's something to this film there's a beautiful ending to this film that could be seen as horrible and sad but also could be seen as other things and it's just really powerful brendan frazier of course is phenomenal everybody said it uh, he's probably going to win best actor this year at the golden globes and the oscars he is incredible he gained all this weight to portray this character that you feel the size and the weight. You look at this character, you feel bad for him instantly just because Brendan Fraser is so incredibly good at portraying that humor, that humanity side to it. And just this is a beautiful story about so many things. And it's just, it's a monster of a movie. It is a whale of a movie. Like just this massive hunking thing that can swallow you whole and it's just powerful and I, I really really love this movie I cannot recommend this film enough H however this is a film that may not be the right film for you depending on what your mindset is what I mean by that is if you're a person who's I'm like I'm not having the best day I want to go see a movie this is not that kind of movie and I actually watched it with someone who was not in the best mood. And they came out hating this movie. Because <laughs> they were just in a bad mood. And I, to be fair, I was in a bad mood too. I was very tired and exhausted. And still am. I need to go get some goddamn sleep. Um, holidays be doing this shit to me, man. Uh, but 
you know, it does really affect you. Anyways, not to talk about my life. I'm just saying, like, you know, just, you know, if you're tired and you want to go get some sleep, this is not the kind of movie you go watch while you're tired of shit and want to go get some sleep. It, it's beautiful. It's awe-inspiring. And I can't wait to go see it again. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.